a Hollywood extravaganza descended on China's port city of Qingdao over the weekend. It was the launch of the Qingdao Oriental Movie Metropolis by Wanda Group. Martina Fuchs reports from the future megafilm and television park and shows how it fits into the overseas ambitions of China's richest man. It's the grand opening ceremony of the new Wanda Movie Production Center here in Qingdao. Some of the most famous Hollywood celebrities will walk the red carpet here as Wanda is hoping to boost the collaboration with U.S. celebrities as well as to better connect industry. Look at these shining stars. The Qingdao Oriental Movie Metropolis is scheduled to open to the public in 2017 and will carry a total investment amount of 50 billion yuan or more than 8 billion dollars. And the man behind the project, Wanda Group chairman and real estate tycoon Wang Tianlin, recently named China's richest individual by Forbes magazine, with a net worth estimated at $14.2 billion. Initially, we wanted to make it a normal production studio project, and after a lot of evaluation, we decided to integrate all functions together which in doing will help to shift the focus from the film industry to tourism attraction because of the strong cash flow from hotels, entertainment and so on. The Hollywood industry has started to gaze eastwards as the rapidly growing Chinese box offices can no longer be ignored. I'm loving uh, this injection of life into the movie industry that we need so much. So I hope to be making movies here and I hope that my friends We'll make movies here and it will be a wonderful future. In Beijing, Consultancy and Group says China will soon overtake the U.S. when it comes to ticket sales. China's movie market developed very fast. From the perspective of moviegoers, the number hit more than 470 million in 2012. And this year, the number will definitely exceed 500 million. And thanks to the rising number of cinemas and viewers, I predict China's film industry will surpass the U.S. in the next six to seven years in terms of box office. Wang is on an overseas expansion spree. Next year, Wanda will be the world's biggest property company and the biggest hotel management company in 2015. Now we are the biggest cultural enterprise in China, but not that big compared with foreign counterparts. Therefore, our investment will mainly go to the culture sector. Wanda is expected to be the top 10 cultural companies in the world in 2020. According to him, his conglomerate has a war chest of up to $5 billion every year to acquire foreign assets. Martina Fuchs, CCTV, Qingdao.